Among the many protected species on open display were goldfinches illegally imported. Now these come from Turkey. Turkey. These are legal. Sort of legal. The bird detectives decided to buy two birds themselves as conclusive proof that the laws were being flouted. The salesman, it turned out, was Adnam Isel. He'd already been convicted of attempting to smuggle 200 goldfinches in a suitcase from Turkey and other offences. Yeah. Um, pretty birds to have. Yeah. The price has gone down from last week. Um, this is, I only got this left. Like I say, this is my last. 50 quid a pound. I've been selling them. I can sell them all day long. You know, I'm not really worried about it. I can do swaps. Go on. 50 quid a pound. I'm not going to fight, Rob, because you bought for 55. That's cheap enough. Yeah. If the RSPP come, yeah. all right, the bloke who really knows about it, he would know the difference. Yeah. Yes. All right, he would know the difference. If you get any old. 55 pounds changed hands and a pair of Turkish goldfinches was removed from the upstairs bar of the owl and the pussycat to a place of greater safety. Well, we've actually proved now sales taking place. You're aware of that a week ago. And uh, what we have here is, is, is some quite serious offences being committed, not only against the Wildlife and Countryside Act, but also some import legislation as well, because the chap who was selling us these birds here was actually mentioning it to us that they were coming from Turkey. Can you show us these birds? Well, here they are, here. They're, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're rather frightened. They're at the base of the cage at the moment. And I don't think it's a good idea to spend too much time playing around with them. They've had an awful lot of stress. I think traditionally these things were sold in East End pubs. Uh, but we thought uh, the practice had died out a long time ago. But this is, this is quite unusual, I think, to find modern pubs selling these things in, in, in rooms upstairs. It really is quite disgraceful. So Karen and Andy tackled the licensee about the bird trade in his upstairs bar. I'm, 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 I'm completely innocent right. of knowledge of whatever, because I'm a publican and not yep. a, not a um, ornithologist. Fine. Right? Who's it's the chap? The the, you, you must know him. He's a, of Turkish origin, I think. He does make quite a lot of money at it. I know he's selling birds, and there's no doubt about that, because he has sold them to me. So these are quite obviously... Is it, is it against the law to sell a bird or not? It's the, essentially in the way if in which it's going on, yes. If I walk in here with a canary, mm -hmm. yes. is that against the law? If you walked in here with a canary, and you and uh, you permitted its sale to take place on licensed premises, you may well be infringing the pet shop regulations, yes. <laughs> If you met someone in the street and asked to buy a canary from him, or indeed advertised it from your own home as a private sale, then no, that is quite legitimate. But uh, uh, trade taking place uh, are in various premises has to be regulated by the Pet Shop Licensing Act, which is a local authority matter. Uh, quite bluntly, what goes on in the upstairs bar there is one of the busiest pet shops that I think I've come across for quite a long time. Oh, yeah. So that's another little piece of legislation as well, which you could find yourself falling foul of, and there's no pun intended there. <laughs> because what, what, what I'm here to try and do is to politely persuade you to stop doing it. If you choose, and it must be your choice, to allow these things to go on, then it's only right that I would point out to you that we'd have to consider more formal approaches with regards to what's going on here. The publican gave the required undertaking. The sale of birds at the Owl and the Pussycat has stopped, the case is closed. And for two tiny birds, after a life of trauma, the prospect of freedom. We've obviously had to make a decision about their future. We're concerned that if we keep them in captivity for much longer, they're going to die. Um, I know that we've been told they came from Turkey, but we really can't be sure about that, and trying to get them back would involve so much bureaucracy that really that's out of the question. We've decided to let them go, and we're letting them go here because we know that there are flocks of, of goldfinches around this area. There's plenty of uh, seed and food for them to eat, so we're going to let them go in this area where hopefully they'll, they'll uh, survive for much longer than they would do in captivity.